misleading polls. Hey guys, it's Phil Yu with Students for Life, and this is your Pro Life Gen News. Let's get started. So last week, the Kaiser Family Foundation released a poll about healthcare reform proposals that also included questions about federal funding for Planned Parenthood. The results? Strong opposition towards cutting off Planned Parenthood's federal funding. However, National Review took a closer look at the polls and found that the way that the polls were worded made defunding Planned Parenthood seem as unappealing as possible. For instance, the poll indicates that 75% of the participants wanted Medicaid funding to continue for Planned Parenthood, but they did not mention that Planned Parenthood mishandled Medicaid funds. Kind of changes things a little bit. The poll questions also made it sound like the plan is simply to defund Planned Parenthood, which makes it sound like there's gonna be a void. Had the poll question said redirect funds from Planned Parenthood towards FQHCs, could we have seen a different result? You know what that's like? Poll question. Is this shirt awesome? A, all of the above. How do you guys like my shirt? So I'm sure by now you've all heard about Tommy Lahren and what's happened. If you haven't, she was on The View and said that she was for the woman's right to choose because she's for limited government, therefore the government shouldn't tell her what she can do with her body. You know, it wasn't very long ago that she actually acknowledged abortion is killing your child on her show with The Blaze. She has since been suspended from The Blaze and the future is not very clear for her at the moment. Our articulate and very well-spoken Autumn, a teen whose response to Teen Vogue's article was kind of a big deal, put out a response to Tomi. Final link in the post. In Des Moines, Iowa, a bill that is intended to prevent the sale of fetal body parts was overwhelmingly approved Wednesday night by the Iowa State Senate. It was approved with a 43 to six vote and it now moves on to the house for consideration. This means that the fetal tissue cannot be transferred even if it was at cost. Thank you, David Delighton. And that's everything that caught our eye today. My name is Phil Yu with Students for Life. And outro.